This is Jamal Jackson, and he's the largest frog in the world. Bruh. Okay, he might not be the largest frog just yet, but that's because he's still a child. You oh. see, Jamal Jackson, the African giant bullfrog, might already seem like a chunky boy. But in order for him to reach maximum thickness, I'm going to need to power feed my pixie frog. Now, in the last video I made with this frog, I fed Jamal a large variety of different roach species in order to figure out which types of roaches Jamal likes to eat the most. While we did succeed in figuring out which species of roach Jamal prefers to munch on, we also made a quite unsettling discovery. You see, while attempting to feed Jamal Madagascar hissing cockroaches, we found out bruh is a little racist. Yummy snack. Ugh, yuck. Bruh. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How the hell could a frog be racist? But before you guys become close-minded to the idea, let me at least provide you guys with all of the evidence. Okay, for whatever reason, I found that my frog is only roaches to a certain family of cockroach that can only be found on the island of Madagascar. They're known as hissing cockroaches, and within my zoo of a room, I keep a grand total of three different hissing roach species. Normal Madagascar hissing cockroaches, black tiger hissing cockroaches, and the infamous Halloween hissing cockroaches. Now, the Halloween Halloween hissers are the smallest of the three, and only get around two inches long. However, what these small little cocks lack in size, they more than make up for with their jaw-dropping Halloween-themed colors. To tell you the truth, I don't know how Jamal would react to a Halloween hisser, since I purposefully avoided introducing one of these adorable little roaches to Jamal in the last video. However, I need to get to the bottom of how racist Jamal Jackson actually is, and in order to do that, my frog must come face to face with the Halloween hisser. Daddy, but before we do that, let's talk about black tiger hissing cockroaches. So, these big black cockroaches are scientifically known as Gromphodorhina grandadiri. They can reach a maximum length of just over 3 inches and strut a breathtaking shiny black exoskeleton. They're nicknamed black tiger hissing roaches since each little segment on the roach's abdomen breaks up the solid black coloration when the roach bends its body. Interestingly, the exoskeleton on these roaches acts as armor for the roach, and while all all cockroaches might have an exoskeleton, nothing can compare to that of a hisser's exoskeleton. In fact, if I were to compare the texture of these big black cocks to any other animal in the world, I would compare it to a freaking crab. <laughs> Do you hear that? These cocks are seriously like knights in shiny black armor, and their powerful legs loaded with surprisingly sharp thorns make it that much harder for most predators to eat this roach. On top of all of that, this roach has the ability to hiss at its predators <laughs> which can actually be pretty startling. Ah. However, pixie frogs are freaking gangsters. Da, 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 da. They don't care about how spiky, dangerous, or large a prey item is. As long as it looks tasty enough and can fit down the frog's gullet, they're gonna go for it, regardless of the consequences. Having said that, Jamal Jackson is the most G to the extreme frog I have ever encountered. Oh my god, Ronnie. You see, Jamal is aware of how powerful BBC is. He knows about the impenetrable armor. Bruh. The insanely sharp legs and the surprisingly loud hiss these roaches can make. Yet he is completely unbothered by all of it. Once Jamal lays his eyes on a BBC, nothing else matters. Except trying to get that big black cock down his throat as efficiently as possible. Excuse me. Anyways, it's fair to say Jamal is a connoisseur of BBC, and since he gobbled up that first glizzy so fast and efficiently, let's see what he does with the second black tiger hissing cockroach. Yes. Alrighty Jamal, here's a nice big and juicy one for you. Aw, don't get discouraged buddy, I'm sure you'll get it with the next one. Bruh. Dude, just eat the roach. Okay, that was freaking glass. Stop trying to eat your reflection and eat the roach. Jenny the cockroach is over there drowning <laughs> while your last two brain cells are trying their hardest to process what the hell's going on. What do you have to say for yourself? Stupid. There's the initiative I was looking for. Go ahead and show the audience how much of an apex predator you are. Boy. Oh, oh, he's got it. Dude, how do you let that go? Literally, how do you let that go? And you still miss! And you miss again! Bro, what? Thank God you're my pet, because you would not survive in the wild. Also, words can't even describe how bad I feel for Jenny. I'm dying. Let him cook now! Let him cook! I said! 
Let him Jamal, you straight devoured that big black cock. Yes, I did that, and that's a period. Anyways, I think my point has been proven. Clearly, Jamal is a connoisseur of big black cocks. <laughs> but what about Halloween hissers? Will Jamal's roachism come out if I introduce a Halloween hisser? Uh, probably. Or will he gobble it up like he engulfed the last two roaches? Tasty. Okay, Jamal, please don't be racist towards the roach. Bring honor to our family. Oh, he did it. Oh, bruh. Oh my gosh, you gotta be freaking kidding me, Jamal. How are you missing it, bro? It's right there. Bro's literally inhaling water at this point. How are you this dumb? Okay, I'm sorry, Jamal. You're not dumb. You're just unmotivated. Doesn't this succulent roach look appetizing? Yes. Okay then, buddy. Go ahead and slurp up that cock. Don't let it swim away, bruh. I know you can do this. Stop the cow. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Good freaking job, Jamal. You've made Dada so proud. Aww. Shut up, you lame. Anyways, I can now say with 100% certainty that Jamal Jackson is neither racist towards black tiger hissing cockroaches and Halloween hissing cockroaches. Which is huge, since no one wants a racist frog. However, there is still one species of cockroach that Jamal will not consume no matter what. Grandpa Dorhini portentosa, or the normal Madagascar hissing cockroach, was the first ever roach species I have ever kept as a pet. And for some reason, I cannot get this chunky boy to eat one of these scrum diddly dumptious roaches. I have tried everything. For instance, I have tried just feeding males. Ugh, yeah. I have tried just feeding females. I want to die. I've tried just placing the roach on its back in attempts of making it look more appetizing. I don't care. Bruh. I have even tried tongue feeding Jamal Jackson, yeah. and it still didn't work. Bruh. Like any dad, finding out my son is racist has taken a huge toll on my mental health. In fact, I've lost sleep for the last two and a half months ever since I found out what type of a frog Jamal Jackson really is. Nobody cares! And the fact that he continues to double down on his roaches ideologies makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Clearly, my patience has been spread way too thin, since I'm no longer willing to put up with such horrendous behaviors. I am better! I wish to one day live in a world absent of racism. More importantly, I wish to live in a world where all cockroaches, regardless of skin color, are free to become sustenance for my frog. Aww. I'm talking about a world free of roachism. And if I want this world to become a reality, I need to cure my frog's racism once and for all. This is blasphemy. Just accept me for who I am. Uh. Now, I've thought long and hard about how I could get Jamal to eat a normal Madagascar hissing cockroach. And while there's no possible way I can make that roach look more appetizing... Mmm, Jamal, yeah. look, a yummy snack. A little oh. I think there's a way we can trick Jamal into eating one of these big brown cocks. Stop the cat. This is calcium powder. And for those who keep reptiles and amphibians at home, you're probably very familiar with this powdery white substance. But for everyone else watching, calcium powder is a dietary supplement that's commonly used by exotic pet keepers. Since most reptiles and amphibians don't get enough calcium in captivity, they're at risk of getting metabolic bone disease. In other words, dusting your pet's food with calcium powder from time to time will ensure that your pet doesn't develop any weak or deformed bones. Bruh. Anyways, the other day when I was giving Jamal a calcium dusted meal, it occurred to me. Bro cannot see what's under the white stuff. He just associates whatever is covered in calcium powder as food and goes in for the kill. <laughs> Thank you! So in theory, if I smother one of these juicy roaches in calcium powder and then introduce it to Jamal, he should eat the roach, regardless of his racist ideologies. Oh hell no, man. What
Anyways, I think the best way we could go about this is if we first dust a black tiger hissing cockroach in calcium powder. That way, Jamal won't raise any suspicion. He'll just think I'm serving him a nice and juicy big black cockroach like I usually do. Then, once he's done gobbling down that BBC, I'll take the already prepared calcium dusted normal hissing cockroach and put it right in front of Jamal. And since he's such a hungry and growing boy that needs all the experience he can get in order to grow, he should just pounce on that big white cock and not think anything of it. Finally, once Jamal is done eating the disguised normal Madagascar hissing cockroach, it will be time to reveal the truth. As you can see, both cockroaches have already been prepared. On my left, we have the normal hissing cockroach, and on my right is the black tiger hissing cockroach. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty, Jamal, I got you a tasty BBC served just the way you like it. Uh... Go ahead and eat it, Jamal. Aren't you hungry? Yes. Bruh. You can at least try to put in some effort, bro. What the hell is that? Okay, look, bro. The roach is right next to you. Now all you need to do is just eat it. Bombocat! I swear to God, Jamal Jackson. No more messing around. Stop playing with your food or else I'm gonna put you back into your enclosure. Oh, hell no. Nah. Not the enclosure. My bad, pimp. Ah, all of a sudden, you want to start eating your food. Interesting. Bruh. Hey, but on the bright side, at least my boy's finally putting in some hustle. Yes. <laughs> Tasty. Aw, you're such a cutie patootie when you're being a good boy. And guess what? I have another black tiger hissing cockroach for you. Really? Yes, I got it right here. But before I give you this cockroach, I want to apologize to you, Jamal. Huh? I'm so, so, so sorry for continuously forcing normal hissing cockroaches on you. I need to understand that you are who you are. And instead of trying to change you, I need to accept you for who you are. So in all sincerity, I'm so sorry for trying to change you into something you're not. I love I love you, Jamal, and I will always love you, regardless of the type of cock you prefer. Aww. Now, how does a juicy BBC sound? Bussin. <laughs> I'm dying. There it is, Jamal. I know you want it. Yes. Okay, give it another try, Jamal. You got this. Okay, you're gonna need to try harder than that, bro. Come on, dude. You can do this. I believe in you. Nice. Here, let me put My it down life. again so you can redeem yourself, Jamal. Okay, now you don't want your freaking peace offering to get away from you, bro. What are you doing? Put in some freaking hustle, okay? I'm over this, dude. Just eat the roach. Look at it. It's right there, bro. Nice shot. Bruh. Oh my gosh. Get some help. Okay, this is your last goddamn chance, Jamal. If you don't eat it now, then you're never gonna- Oh my gosh, no way, no freaking way. Good freaking job, Jamal. Let's freaking go. He actually ate a normal hissing cockroach. I'm so proud of you, boy. Wait, no, no. Disgusting. Why did I say that? God damn it. You freaking idiot, Jamal. Oh my gosh. Look, Jamal, I know I was in the wrong for trying to trick you, but please, just give it a try. It's not any worse than a big black cock. No, I have trust issues now. Bruh. Look, Jamal, no more silent treatment. It's been three entire days. You can't keep ignoring me forever, bro. I've already said I'm sorry, so just talk to me. This freaking guy. One week later. So I know you want nothing to do with me, Jamal, but I need you to understand why I did what I did. You see, I want nothing but the best for you, Jamal. And with cancel culture being at an all-time high, it's only a matter of time before word gets out that you're racist. And once that happens, you'll be canceled. <laughs> What? Are you serious? Yes, and once you get cancelled, you won't be able to show your face on the internet or get a girlfriend, and all of your friends, family, and supporters will turn their back on you. But worst of all, you'll only be known as the racist frog. Oh god, how can I fix this? How do I stop this nightmare from happening? Wait, what? You really want to fix this? Yes, I'll do anything. Well, if you say so, the only way you can stop this from happening is by proving to the public that you're actually not roaches. And in order to do that, you're gonna need to eat a normal Madagascar hissing cockroach. Bruh. Okay, screw it. Bring that Cock. here, boy. And make it the biggest one you can find. 
Okay, Jamal, the roach is right there. It's time for you to prove yourself, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, no freaking way, Jamal. No freaking way. He actually did it, guys. And if I'm being honest, I didn't think he was really gonna do it. So much blood, sweat, tears, and sleepless nights have gone into trying to cure Jamal's roachism. And at the end of the day, all it took was threatening Jamal with cancel culture? You've gotta be freaking kidding me. You know what, though? Who even cares? All that really matters is Jamal Jackson, the African giant bullfrog, is no longer racist. And if that isn't a W, I don't know what is. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps out with the algorithm and allows me to continue making content for all you beautiful people out there. Now, if you want to see some more Jamal Jackson content or any other exotic animal content, don't be shy and give this channel a subscribe. Also, thank you guys so much for 800k subscribers. You guys are literally making my dreams come true, and for that, I am forever grateful. Which is why I'll be responding to every single comment on this video. With that being said, Thank you all so much for watching, and Jamal, thank you for finally overcoming your racism. You are now a certified Glizzy Gladiator. Welcome to the team. Nice. Go, 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 go.